Here are my top five tips on how marketers should adopt AI with TeamGPT. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm a product marketer at TeamGPT. My first tip is to build a stable library of prompts you reuse every day or for your most repetitive tasks. You can access the prompt library at TeamGPT from here and you can see that I have different folders with uh, the brand voice of the company um, for marketing because I'm a marketer, um, for customer support because I sometimes also do customer support. So if I click on marketing folder, you can see that I have prompts for the case studies I build, uh, social media content strategy, ads preparation, etc. So if I click on the case study prompt, you can see that I have uh, the formula we use for our case studies. So basically, while having these prompts that you can reuse every day at your work, you will save so much time because instead of typing your prompt every single day, the same prompt for each repetitive task, you can just open your prompt library, you can access it super quick and reuse prompts for each of your tasks. My second tip is to build a strong library of custom instructions. So custom instructions basically help you get the AI into the headspace of your tasks and they will give you more control over how the AI responds in a chat, in a conversation. So you can set up custom instructions, you can set up default custom instructions and you can also set up um, custom instructions for chat. Uh, for example, I have these, uh, this custom instruction for Acme Corporation that basically explains what the company does. I have a custom instruction that I use very often that is for the brand voice uh, when, for example, I build emails or landing pages or blog posts, different types of long text even short actually, I can also use it for social media posts. So uh, for example, I can uh, preview uh, a custom instruction. You can see the brand voice is professional yet authoritative, um, ethical and sustainable. So if I click on this custom instruction, I can select it and then whatever prompt I send uh, to the AI, it will get that custom instruction into the context. So basically you won't need to explain uh, what your uh, company is about, what your job is about, uh, what, for example, your brand voice is or uh, etc. So you can set these custom instructions per chat and then uh, for example, now when I have selected this brand voice, uh, if I say consider uh, you need to write uh, a blog post, but consider Acme Corporation's brand voice, the AI will get that custom instruction to its context and it will tailor uh, the text according to, the, to your brand voice. My third tip is to start identifying your repetitive tasks and slowly start creating prompts, custom instructions and saving chats uh, based on your most repetitive tasks. Uh, my best example is the product updates I need to send bi-weekly actually to our customers. So what I do is I have a prompt that I reuse uh, and I share basically when I select the prompt the AI knows the structure of my email, I give it the structure and then uh, I give uh, an example based on the previous email that I've sent and it basically takes into consideration the structure as well as the tone of voice. And here, for example, um, if I go to this marketing folder here, um, I can go to this chat I have, viral TikTok ideas for Acme Corporation. And if I, um, select this chat, I can start building on top of it. And I can, for example, start exploring uh, different ideas. I can tell the AI to give me uh, more ideas on top of AI versus human, who does it better. And then I can go here, uh, I can fork my chat and I can build on top of this chat many, many, many times. My fourth tip is to save your best chats and folders. Uh, if you, for example, have uh, generated social media ads 
For example, uh, I can store this chat in folder and you can see all my chats stored here in the marketing folder. So when I want to go back to a certain chat, uh, for example, I want to check once again how I've brainstormed different social media campaigns. I can go to the marketing folder and I can reuse the chat numerous times. My last tip is to continue experimenting and implementing Team GPT into your workflow. The more tasks you bring, the fastest you learn to use Team GPT and to use AI every day. Thank you so much for watching. More tips and tricks you can find at teamgpt.com.